joined by Matt Mayer. We're here at Old Trafford. Matt, we've just witnessed a momentous win for Aston Villa. 1-0. It just doesn't happen for Villa. Uh, victories over Manchester United? Yeah, they don't. They certainly don't. Um, this is a, a rare, rare day. It's not just Villa beating Man United, which has happened now only twice. It's only the second win in 46 Premier League meetings, going back 26 years. First win since two th here since 2009. It's not just the fact they won, it's the fact that Manchester United missed a penalty they always get a penalty against Villa, they yeah, got, they got yeah. a penalty against Villa the, the previous three games. They got another one of the day in stoppage time. At the point where Villa, Villa supporters all over the world would have been thinking, this is our day. Yeah. Man United get a penalty. Bruno Fernandes, who's got something like a 95% penalty success rate in his career, rarely misses, has basically sent it well. If the, if the Stretford end wasn't behind it, he would have ended up at the, the Trafford Centre. <laughs> right. I mean, it's one of the worst penalties. It's probably the, it's probably the worst penalty you'll see in the Premier League this season. Mm. It will take some, some topping. Uh, and it just doesn't happen. It just doesn't happen. Um, I think it's probably for the supporters here today who will be rubbing their eyes and just wanting to check that the world is still on, on its axis. Um, you know, it's... Uh, yeah. Um, might be a good idea to put some... Played a lot tonight. Yeah, it might just be. could be one of those. Uh, just could be, could be one of those days because uh, yeah, that was that was unexpected. Um, as much as Villa uh, have improved, um, you know, in, the, in recent, in the, you know, under Dean Smith, um, as much as uh, they feel like a team that that was that is growing, um, you know, they just don't beat Man United. They don't beat Man United. They usually lose to Man United. Um, so yeah, just a really, a really big win. Uh, I don't think there, I don't think there is another, another win. Uh, perhaps the exception of actually beating Man United at Villa Park, mm. which they haven't done since 1995 in the Premier League. I don't think there's another win which would perhaps convince Villa supporters more that, that perhaps things are. Perhaps they are heading towards a really, you know, bright, successful era. Um, you know, we've, we've talked about how, you know, the potential, the ambitions, but it is days like today that are, you know, they are landmark victories. And what's what I think we should perhaps um, excite supporters the most is that Dean Smith doesn't talk about it that way. Mm. He doesn't use the word landmark victory or anything like that. He doesn't speak like a man who has you know accomplished the big goal I think he feels this was and I think he'll know deep down he knows deep down what a what a big that this really is a, a landmark result mm. but he is looking further forward and this is just a stepping stone and I think that's what should perhaps excite supporters more because it's it's, it's the mindset mm. it is the mindset and you know can this you know this team now it's gonna be really exciting to see whether they can kick on I mean, they've got another tough game at Tottenham next week. Yeah. But if you go and win that, then you know it's time to get uh, it's time to get a bit excited. Yeah. Because they deserved it today. Mm. You know, they deserved it. it. Wasn't the fluke. You know, the, the stats will show that Man United had a lot more shots, a lot more possession. But it was Villa who I thought had the better chances. Yeah. Particularly in the first half, the chances for Target and, and Watkins. I mean, United really didn't create. Those kind of champions, no. Pogba had a header that went, you know, inches wide. But they didn't create, you know, they didn't cut Villa open. Um, you know, it, was, it was a really, really good team performance. It was, and the man who was at the centre of all the, the big moments, I should say, Courtney Hawes, Courtney Hawes. came in, uh, middle of the back three, scored the goal, but also he was the man who, unfortunately, gave away, gave away the penalty. penalty. I mean, it was a, a real roller coaster for him, but it was a really good performance, I thought. It was, yeah, and I thought he was excellent at Chelsea. Um, I think he's been really unlucky, you know, in terms of the way his kind of Villa career has panned out mm. so far. He's always been kind of the, the odd man out. He's always been, you know, he knows a left-sided centre-back, Villa play a four at the back, then Tyrone, you know, Tyrone Mings, if fit, he's going to play. Yeah. He has to deal with that. He has to deal with a lot of injuries. But last season, I made the point to someone in the week that if you take away, I think, the game at Crystal Palace when he came back from injury and he struggled mm. in the second half there, that really, when he played last season, he rarely put a foot wrong. Mm. Um, 
and I think you know these performances in midweek for Chelsea and today you wondered whether after 90 minutes in the week having not played in a game like that for a long time whether Dean Smith would put him in again mm. and he did and, and he's repaid him yeah he's given away the penalty I thought it was a penalty I, I think if a cross yeah. comes my initial reaction was that the I need to watch it again because I, th I did wonder whether the cross had taken a flick on. Yeah. But if the ball's come from that far away and it hits your hand, oh, I'm not sure you can have too many complaints. Yeah, it was in a natural position, but um, so far away from the Yeah, body. it's and it's 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 he's got himself in the wrong position, mm. uh, and I don't think you can have any complaints with with the penalty award. But then it was missed. Yeah, it was missed. Thanks to perhaps some mind games from another. Yeah, you know, Amy Martinez. Uh, seem to be suggesting that uh, Cristiano Ronaldo might want to take the penalty. Um, presuming they support Aston Villa, since uh, he wouldn't be smiling that much if you're a Manchester United supporter. Yeah. The money that's been spent on this team, they ain't great. Um, yeah, I just just thought it was a. Uh, you know, Courtney Hall summed it up for me because this is, you know, Dean Smith talked a lot about the strength of the squad, mm. and uh, you know, he, he is a man who, you know, for a journalistic shorthand, you would describe as a bit of a forgotten man. Mm. But when he's coming to the team, he's delivered. And yeah, you, you do feel this is a squad, a str strong squad now. Mm. Feel a relative, you know, much stronger than it was last season. Amy Brindley, the record signing, coming off the bench for the last 15 minutes. Mm. You know, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not. Um, Leon Bailey, injured, still to come in. Yeah. Morgan Sanson, you know, it's promising, really promising. It is, and the system has been very impressive. I mean, the last couple of weeks, that, that, that three at the back has really worked well. Obviously, I didn't get the result against Chelsea in both the Cup and the league, but really good performance against Everton, and this one will only, only lift the mood even higher. Absolutely, absolutely. And it's a question of, you know, this is early, an early season result. What can I do to you know to put to push on from here? You know I don't think I don't think it was a flawless performance. Mm. They've still got room to grow. You question whether Ollie Watkins and Danny Ings are um, you know is that is that really working as a partnership? Mm. Um, you know maybe that needs needs to be looked at with this setup. You know you've got players like Wendy, uh, Bailey. Where do they fit in? Yeah. But they've got options now. Last season, you knew. Last season, it was very easy to name Villa's starting lineup. You knew you could easily name that. You knew, you knew that the starting lineup was going to be if everybody was fit. This season, it's much tougher. That means it's much tougher for opposing uh, managers, mm. opposing teams. You know, it's all positive. It's all really positive. Sure is. All positive here. Three points for Aston Villa at Old Trafford. Don't reset your television set or computer screen, whatever you happen to be watching on. That's the actual result uh, for all the post-match reaction. It really happened. It actually <laughs> happened. That's it. Uh, all the post-match reaction. Expressestar.com.